Hello folks, it's the Pacey Jester again. Welcome to another one of my videos. In this one I'm going to look at Anvil coaches of Grimsby and at one time of Hull as well. As far as I'm aware they were formed in the 1990s in Grimsby itself. They operated private hires and school contracts. They first came to my attention as someone who was born and brought up in Hull in the late 90s when they got some rural bus contracts in the East Riding of Yorkshire. This is a photograph by my late father taken in the Gilbert Ike area in January of 1999. One of the vehicles that they use on those services, so it's got the Anvil Limited Rural Bus Services fleet name on the side of it. This is an Optair Metro Rider H679YGO. It was new to London General in June 1991 as fleet number MRL 179. And it later passed to Epsom buses, uh, in whose livery it still is. Anvil had just used the Epsom buses maroon and cream livery and just put their own fleet names onto it. It was later repainted in the two-tone blue and cream that we'll see in a moment on, on the Dennis Dart buses, and it uh, worked around the Hull area. I believe when the Hull services were withdrawn, it was uh, withdrawn and probably sent for scrap. I don't think it had any subsequent history, but I'm not 100% sure. So around 2002, Anvil moved into the Hull area. They got uh, a depot, it's basically just an open yard in the Cottingham area. And they uh, got some tendered services from uh, Hull City Council, including the one you can see here, the 1C to Sibelius Road on the Boothry Estate. They bought various vehicles to uh, operate the services. Some of them were fairly conventional Dennis Darts with pla Plaxton bodies. But two of them were Dennis Darts with very unusual bodies, uh, including this one, M112 EUF. This has got a body by Leicester Carriage Builders who, as the name suggests, were based in Leicester. They're actually part of the cooperative group, as in the supermarket. Um, they don't exist anymore. They closed down a few years after um, they built this one, I think. But this was new to East Sussex County Council in March 1995. It was fitted with 28 seats and a wheelchair lift. It's a step entrance bus, so the steps in the doorway. But it had a side-mounted um, wheelchair lift. towards the uh, rear of the near side, if I remember correctly. So yeah, 28 seats and a wheelchair lift. It uh, passed to Amvale. They operated on the Hull area services. When they lost the contracts for the Hull services, it was withdrawn, and I believe it was scrapped. There was a picture of it in a dealer's yard, still in Amvale livery, but looking quite sorry for itself, along with its sister vehicle, um, which we'll see in a moment. Carried the fleet number 112 with Amvale. And this is the livery they used for the Hull area services. Very smart, as you can see, this uh, lovely two-tone blue and cream. That's the one the Metro Rider that I've uh, just been talking about was painted into as well. But yeah, very smart fleet. It's a shame they didn't get the contracts again. Sister vehicle to 112 was this one, which was officially fleet number 814, but it's not carrying the uh, fleet number in this shot. Working another one of the uh, tendered services, the 7 to Beverly Road. This is uh, M814EWV. Again, it was new to East Sussex County Council, this time in April 1995. And again, it was a Leicester Carriage Builders bodied Dennis Dart with a side-mounted wheelchair lift. It's quite an interesting shot. It's in Short Street, uh, just next to Hull Bus Station. And the wall next to it is the remains of the KHCT Ferrensway or Central Garage. Uh, most of it had been demolished. It just left enough of a wall to protect the boundary of the site and it's just there waiting to go on another trip to uh, Beverly Road on the 7. It's a curious route the 7, it's it had various um, names for its terminus which have all been in the same place, uh, it's shown at various times Ings Bridge Estate, Mizzen Road, uh, Beverly Road, Beverly High Road, Beverly Road Tesco, it's just um, yeah but basically the route's always been the same it's just uh, they've moved the terminus up and down a little bit but certainly the Mizzen Road, Ingsbridge Estate and Beverley Road, it's all been the same terminus. Behind it is a, another rare bed, really, in East Yorkshire. Alexander ALX 300 bodied Volvo. As you can see, this uh, Dennis Start had a different version of the Anvil livery. Equally as smart, very, very nice indeed. And again, this had a, the same history as uh, M112 EUF. It was withdrawn when they lost the contracts for the Hull area services and it passed to a dealer uh, where it was languishing. Um, there was a picture of it again 
basically falling to pieces in the dealer's yard and I believe they've both been scrapped now. So in 2001, the long-established firm of Applebee's of Collie's Home near Louth um, went bankrupt. They uh, ceased trading. Among their various activities, they did run some rural services um, in and out of Grimsby, and they passed to Amvale. And this vehicle is uh, operating on one of the services. Unfortunately, most of the photos in this collection are undated. The two of Dennis starts in Huller about 2003, around there this one i think is somewhere around 2005 it's taken in the uh, old grimsby bus station just outside the entrance to freshly place shopping center and it shows vehicle 9190 nk this was uh, acquired from applebee's with the services um, it was formerly a 646 wfe with applebee's it was new in 1984 and it was a volvo b10m with plaxton paramount 3200 body which, as you can see, has been uh, rebuilt quite a little, quite a bit. It would have had more trim on it when it was new, but they've uh, taken the trim off and uh, just basically put plain panels on. Uh, not all of which are the same size, by the look of it. Also operating on the ex-Apple bus services around the same time was this vehicle. This is Leyland Leopard. Uh, it was new to City of Oxford Motor Services in March 1979 with the duple dominant coach body. Um, Oxford had it rebuilt in March 1991 and fitted with a new Willowbrook Warrior body which it carries here. It was basically a cheap copy of the Leyland Lynx which was a contemporary um, single deck bus design of the time. Uh, this one at some point has been to Christchurch buses as you can see by the branding on it uh, which was part of Bournemouth Yellow Buses. It was one of their competitive um, operations I believe when they got some competition in the uh, town. Still carries the uh, livery and the fleet names of that. Uh, and the fleet number 108, which I'm assuming is from Christchurch buses as well. But there it is in Grimsby bus station. Again in around 2005. So the main focus of Amville after the uh, Hull operation ceased was school services. And indeed still is. Uh, the Grimsby area rural services ran for a few years, but they gradually diminished and dwindled away. Uh, and they don't run them anymore. Um, also around 2005, 2006, somewhere around there, this was one of Amville's uh, minibuses that they use on school services. This is parts in Barton on Humber. It's uh, an LDV minibus, uh, YX03 DVG. Also parts in Barton around the same time was this vehicle, T514 EUB, a Volvo B10M with uh, Plaxton Premier body. It was new to Wallace Arnold in March 1999. Uh, I think it worked for the National Holidays subsidiary as well uh, after it had been in the main Wallace Arnold fleet and then it passed to Amvale. So, so this is from around 2005-2006. It shows the vehicle parked up in the uh, middle of the day between school contract duties. And that bus is still with Amvale to this day. This is a picture of it in September 2022 uh, just outside Grimsby Town Hall with a Cooper's tows vehicle behind it as you can see still looking uh, quite smart despite its age it's 23 years old at the time this photograph was taken but yeah lovely it's still uh, in the fleet now so another recent photo this is from june 2023 it was taken in st peter's avenue in cleethorpes and it shows uh, a coach just coming off one of the morning school contracts running empty t101 jbc which was also new in March 1999 to Brookfield of Stockport. So I'm guessing JBC is J Brookfield Coaches, as uh, BC would have been a Leicester area operation. But they obviously specified it as a personalised registration. Again, still looking smart, uh, despite its age, this one Volvo B10M, and this has got a Plaxton Excalibur body, uh, similar to the Premier, just with a slightly more raked back front, as you can see. There are some uh, more modern coaches in the Amvale fleet. Unfortunately, I haven't got any photos of them. They are quite difficult to photograph because they do just work on school contracts nowadays. And uh, obviously, photographing school buses is not uh, a very good idea in this day and age. So you have to try and find them when they're either parked up uh, empty or running empty to and from the contracts. Uh, and as such, they're quite hard to uh, take decent photos of. Another one from June 2023, this is T513 EUB, another Plaxton Premier bodied Volvo that was new to Wallace Arnold in March 1999. 
just parked up at the end of Albion Street in Grimsby, just near to Cleethorpe Road. Lucky find whilst I was out walking the dog one morning. And just finally, we saw one of the minibuses they used on school contracts uh, years and years ago, uh, earlier on in this feature. This is one they use nowadays, another 2023 photo, April 2023. And this is a Renault. Yeah, this one's a Renault YB63, I think it's MXU at the uh, end there. It's parked in Convermore Road in Grimsby, uh, presumably outside the driver's house. And it's uh, quite a regular site down there. So that brings to an end the uh, little feature on Anvil coaches. If I do take any more photographs, I might do a second part uh, when I've got enough to warrant it. But thank you for joining me as always. Take care of yourselves and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.